how to set up a collab land bot or nfts hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up a collab land bot on your discord server for nfts so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here on collab.land that's their main website over here and straight up we're going to simply just jump into it and we're going to click on start building right here and over here they're basically gonna you know go ahead and ask you to you know click over here you know bot setup option you can go ahead and create a bot for your discord telegram collab config channel not being created or you know basically help center over here and you also have to sign in so i've already logged in so it's pretty simple you just simply click on the login button over there at the top and you just simply create an account by using either your google account or entering in your email address and once you've done that you can pretty much go ahead and just simply you know create a bot now you could do that or what you could also do is you just simply go over here onto the home button and over here you can go ahead and click on bot setup and then over here you can you know pretty much set up your bot by clicking on this button as well so over here prior to adding the bot you have to create your discord server you have to create the discord roles you want the collab land to manage and then you can add the bot itself right so it's pretty simple so let's go ahead and go over to the discord channel over here and over here we're i already have a you know channel called testing so this is basically for testing stuff so let me just full screen that so over here we're going to go into you know click over here on this button drop down button and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the server settings and over here on server settings we have roles over here and over here you can create different roles what type of roles would people should have and stuff like that so i have a bunch of different roles that i already created over here what i'll do is i'll just basically you know add another role so over here we can click on create a role and over here i'll just say like and over here i'll just say collab land you know just as a name you can Put any you know role name you want it all depends on you and then i'm gonna give it a you know uh, a red color there we go yeah that looks good then i'm just simply gonna save changes and you can give this role permissions as well so over here display role members separately from online members or allow anyone to add mention this role you can go ahead and do that as well it all depends on you you can click on permissions to give this permission to this role so we're going to be assigning this role to our bot so you can go ahead and give all of these permission to your collab land bot uh, it all depends on you uh, pretty simple stuff then you have manage members as well but it all depends on you so next we have ourselves a role now what we'll do is actually go ahead and you know add that over here so for that we're going to go back into our browser and over here as you can see we have adding bot we got to send into our discord i've already done that as you can see and then we just simply click here to add the collab land bot to the server manager the collab land bot as an administrator for the setup you can remove it later if you want to and then you will have a bunch of different other configuration stuff that you can do right so let's go ahead and click over here and add it to our server so what it's going to do now it's going to take me over here on the discord authentication app over here and i'm just simply going to go ahead and log into my discord account again all right we are now logged in and now we just simply select the server that we want all right so over here i have a testing server so i'm just simply going to click over here on testing and i'll just simply click on continue and we can choose the administrator over here we can revoke that later on but for now we'll just simply click on authorize it's going to do its thing we're just simply going to clear the recapture over here quickly we got boats over here and then just simply click on next a couple of more boats right here and then we'll just move on all right so as you can see it has now been added we can see we have collab land joins over here verify your assets you can go ahead and click on let's go over here and you have your collab land settings as well so as you can see it's pretty simple you have your bots over here and to function as expected bot requires administrator to be specific you know in permission sections bot must be above all the tokens granted roles and collab land join and collab config channels cannot be deleted all bot setups are common so it's pretty simple we can do that and over here use this custom link you know to connect all right so basically this is link you just read the instructions carefully and then you can go ahead and connect your wallet right so we just simply click over here 
it's going to take us over back to the Chrome browser and it's going to open up uh, the collab land connect option where we can simply connect our wallet for our NFTs, right? So let's just wait for it to load up. All right. So over here, we choose the wallet. I'm going to choose MetaMask because uh, that's the one that I use and it's pretty safe as well. You can choose other ones as well, but the it all depends on you but the overall walkthrough the overall tutorial of this video the the point of this video is exactly the same right so i'll just simply click over here sign the message it's going to send a message to my wallet and i'll just read it and i'll just simply click on sign and it's going to verify my metamask wallet all right so as you can see roles have been granted by the bot no roles granted by the bot as of yet but we have verified it so let's go ahead and click on testing and click on server settings and over here we have roles so we have the collab land admin so we just got to move this right here at the top over here and then we just simply click on the role over here and we click on permissions and we can see we have view channels and we have all a bunch of different other ones as well so you can go ahead and give this one you know the administrator option over here and we'll click on save and we have the administrator you can give it more you know roles as well such as uh, manager role managing channels you have your create invites change nicknames change kick members ban members all of that let's we'll give a send message in threads create public threads as well no we don't want that uh, and we'll say add reactions message threads read history and all of that but everything looks good we already gave it the administrator permission so it should be good then we have manage members so over here this is it this is the member right here you can give it more roles as well we'll just say collab land there you go so as you can see we have done that and collab land over here we'll just move this one at the very next over here and we'll just simply click on save changes so next all that's left for you to do now is you know just simply and then all you have to do is just simply you know configure your collab land bot but uh currently as you can see roles granted by the bot so as you can see no roles granted based on the current wallet it's best because i don't have anything in my wallet but pretty much if you have your nfts in it all you got to do is just simply select those nfts and you can move on right so next we just simply gotta go ahead and move on so over here we already gave it permission so let's see so we gotta get it a little bit of more permissions i think for it to work properly so let me go into server settings over here go into roles choose that click on permissions let me just simply you know give this bot some permissions as well uh, we should be good to go and then we just simply click on save changes and we are good to go so i'm pretty sure that that's it let me just see over here let me just view the document all right so we've done that so we've done that as well configure your tgr token granted roles so over here you suggest hierarchy at the collab land web portal you will log into their discord account you can go ahead and choose that but uh pretty much over here you have it i think it should pop up over here it says wallet connected so next let's go ahead and click over here go head over to the collab land web portal but before i do that actually let me just go back real quick i guess i can so let me just log in with my discord and then i'll go back all right i just gotta authorize it all right so next we just select the server on the left right so over here we have our server this is the server that we have and then we see over here we have click on tgrs on the left so over here we have tgrs that's right then we i think select some roles all right then we click on the select button select roles and then we select a discord role and click on apply and click on the role and then click on add new to configure all right let's go ahead and do that we'll just select role collab land role we'll click on apply and what was next and then i think probably need to add like a description of it and over here we need to ch add the chain type so for that it all depends on the nft of that you have right so if you have a nft that's on the solana network then you choose this one if you have on the polygon you choose that if you have the nifty or polka dot pesos it all depends on you if you have an ethereum then you choose the mainnet over here i don't really have an nft so i'm just simply going to choose solana and then you input the address of your nft as well and then you just simply click on save and you add the maximum amount so which is optional but it all depends on you then you click on save and you are good to go right 
so i would say like this is my nft and i think this is on the polygon network right so i'll just go ahead and copy the address and over here i'll input the address and also i'm going to change it to polygon which is going to be over here there we go and then we have the token type but i'm going to ec erc20 and you can find that in the token description like in the details over here so as you can see this is the token id contract and as you can see it's erc115 and this is the polygon blockchain and it is a centralized right over here right so actually we just copy the address over here i think this is over here let me paste it and over here i believe contract number this this is i believe my contact number if i click on the number right here yeah 2953 2953 app so we just copy that and then we paste it over here and it's since it's erc 115 so we just choose that and then we i think this is the token id as well so here we go which is this one and we copy that and we paste it over here and then we just simply click on save uh, i forgot to add in the description but i think it's fine and that's pretty much it i believe next all you got to do is add your token details we've done that and then you have all of the other settings over here that you can want and pretty much you're done pretty much that's it that's how you add your bot for your nfts as well now if anyone tries to make a deal on these nfts or try to buy one you're going to get a message over here in your discord channel and also another thing that you can and also another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and add, give it other permissions as well so as i said before you can add it into other servers as well so pretty much that's it so that is it for this video guys that's how you configure a collab land bot for your nfts on your discord channel so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye